Good morning, friends. Welcome to week nine of the St. Mark Summer Kids Club. I've had so much fun bringing you these lessons over the summer. Thank you so much for all the fun pictures and videos you've sent my way. I have loved seeing you guys get into these activities and into these stories at home, even though we couldn't be together in person this summer. Well, it's time for me to tell you the end of the story of Jonah. Jonah has been through a lot already, right guys? I mean, he was a prophet who heard God's voice, but decided to run away from God. And then he ran right into a huge storm on the sea. He spent three days in the belly of a fish. And finally, he ended up back on dry land. What an adventure. I wonder what Jonah will do now. Has he learned his lesson? What do you think? Well, when Jonah got out of the fish's belly, he probably, you know, took a shower. Then he decided, it is time for me to listen to God. I am going to Nineveh. Remember Nineveh? That was the city where God told Jonah to go in the first place. God wanted Jonah to go there and talk to the people there who didn't know God. This was a very important job because God loved the people of Nineveh very, very much. So Jonah made the long journey to the big city of Nineveh. And when he got there, he stood in the streets and he shared God's message with all the people. He told them to pray to God and to ask for God's forgiveness and to do their best to follow God. Then something amazing happened. The people of Nineveh listened. They listened. They listened to Jonah. They listened to God's message. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. They prayed to God. They said sorry to God for the things that they had done wrong. And they asked God to forgive them. This should have made Jonah feel so happy. But actually, Jonah was a little annoyed. <laughs> I, he didn't really like the people of Nineveh. He didn't think they deserved God's love and mercy. He didn't think it was fair. The people of Nineveh had done some really bad things. And Jonah wanted God to punish them, not forgive them. Jonah wanted God to put them to death. Well, God decided that Jonah still needed to learn another lesson. So when Jonah had gone up on a mountain on a very, very hot day, almost as hot as it gets here in Texas in the summertime, Jonah was up on this mountain and he was sizzling under the afternoon sun. So God made a nice shady tree pop right up, just grow up right there so that Jonah could enjoy some cool shade. Ah, that's better, Jonah thought. But then God brought a worm, a worm out of the ground. And the worm came up, crawled up onto the tree and chewed up all the leaves on the tree so that it wasn't shady anymore. Jonah was furious. He was so upset. He shouted, God, why did you do that? That tree was important to me. Jonah was so angry, but God was so patient. God said, Jonah, don't you understand? The tree was important to you, just like the people of Nineveh are important to me. I love them because I created them. I don't want any of them to die. I want to give them another chance. Friends, God loves you so much. God loves your family. God loves your friends. God loves your neighbors. God even loves the people who are not nice to you. 
God has the biggest heart that you could ever imagine. And there is room in God's heart for all of us. Sometimes our hearts get so small and we keep out people who really do belong there. I wonder if there's there's someone that you've been keeping out of your heart lately. Is God asking you to make room for that person in your heart? So that you can love that person and forgive that person like God loves them? Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for the story of Jonah. Help us to make room in our hearts for all people. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, everyone, it is time to open your last pack, the one marked week nine. I hope that you enjoy this activity. I'm going to sign off now for now, friends. I hope that you have a really great start to the school year. I know I'll be seeing some of some of you probably before then. Uh, and I really hope to see the rest of you at some point this fall. Uh, we're going to keep making time to learn about the Bible together and to have fun together no matter what else is going on in the world. Okay? That is a deal. All right, friends. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.